Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. I am Muhammad Zara Shahmizahari. Today I have given the topic that is what is a magnetization curve of a DC motor. This is the interesting topic to discuss the whereabout or the origin of the magnetization curve from comes from as you can see from your left. This is the magnetization that which include the internal generated voltage versus field current. I've been noticing that we just always use it as a reference to find the internal generated voltage from exercise to exercise. But did you know where it comes from? Let us discuss together. A wire carrying a current inside a magnetic force which is it is called Lorentz force. So if the plugs and the wire are observed in perpendicular to one and another which is in this case is in machine, the force is given by the simple formula. This formula is actually shown to be objectifying the action of the motor which we relate to the flux of magnetomotive force which with current field and current series in terms of motor action. What is flux? It is a precondition, the operation of a DC machine, either in a generator or a motor. Thus, we need to define a magnetic flux in the air gap which where is the wire with its current will be formed excitation of a machine. But how much flux are given in the air gap for a given current field and a current series? The relationship is non-linear. It is given by the curve. The curve is the magnetization characteristic of the machine that will be given by the manufacturers. In the ideal magnetization curve is a defined like this which Ea equal to K 5 omega versus magnet magnetomotive force equation in the graph. We know that curve occurs because of Ea. EA is, direction, EA is directly proportional to the flux in the machine and the speed of a rotation of a machine. But how are we going to relate the EA internal generated voltage with the current field? The magnetization curve usually known to follow how the manufacturer provide the graph. Instead of using EA versus magnetomotive force graph, people will expect what is actually being measured by the circuit physically. That's why they changed the curve into EA versus IF graph rather than EA versus magnetomotive force graph. Another reason of changing magnetomotive force to current field is because current field in this machine produce a field of magnetomotive force given by NF equal to NF IF plus NSIS. This magnetomotive force produce a flux in the machine in accordance with its magnetization curve. Since the current field is directly proportional to the magnetomotive force and since EA is directly, directly proportional to the flux, it is a customary to present the magnetization curve as a plot of EA versus current field for a given speed. Most motor and generator are designed to operate near the saturation point on the magnetization curve as you can see at the knee of the curve. This implies that a fairly large increase in field current is often necessary to get a small increase in EA when operation is near to full load. So this is the basic understanding when and where to define either the volume of current field or internal generated voltage in the machine as well as the speed of machine is in no load or a full load. So that's all for me and I hope you gain something when you watching this video. Thank you and bye.